Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 now today. Got some more Guild Wars for you guys. And of course, before we begin, the joke of the day from myself. Uh, today, my son asked, can I have a book, Mark? And I burst into tears. 11 years old and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. <laughs> it's not Mark. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and jump into this uh, first match over here. Uh, the middle tower, all three towers are still standing, so hopefully I get to hit all of them here. Uh, this one is going to be going down, I think, after my hit, uh, but we'll see. They have two light units here, see Lilius and Emma Landy, and they of course have their Emma Shoe that I unfortunately do not have. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how this plays out. I'm bringing in my Bunny Dom. We're going to try and showcase uh, her utility against a bunch of units today. Uh, namely, C. Lilius, because she essentially just makes C. Lilius awful in many ways, uh, which is very nice. Mine's 260 speed, um, quite bulky, actually. And I skimped out on the resistance to actually put her on immunity. So the reason why she's on an immunity set is... To make sure that she doesn't get um, sealed by Knockwell. You don't want Knockwell to go first and seal your uh, Bunny Dom, especially with her S2. Um, and yeah, with something like Soul Constellation, it brings up my effect res to about 180, 190. So it's a pretty decent spot to be in. Uh, next up, we have our Midnight Gala Lilius, who I'm going to be using into the shoe. We're going to hopefully... Um, just be able to one-shot the uh, ML shoe on the other side right there. And then, of course, we have our trusty ML Ken, who absolutely just blew his debut out of the water. Um, destruction set, resistance set, this is my build right here for right now. And he's on Sigurd Scythe for the healing to sustain against things like ML Landy. Uh, down here we have Ron, Lilius, and Senya. So to do this team... I decided to go for a Yolha Destina comp. This um, provides two targets for the Lilius to go into, and Yolha should be able to soak up most of the damage here. Destina also is here for just some healing and cleansing, uh, just in case we do get defense broken on our Aria. Uh, the Rons on these defense teams, if set up properly, do have effectiveness, so they should be able to defense break us here. Um, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't happen, because if we get defense broken, we're kind of screwed. My Aria has a ton of health, and I did give her some upgrades, so I'm very excited to use her here. Fairy Tail for a Nightmare to help out with some extra damage. And Senya will always be attacking into her, which is good. It causes her to continuously counter. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into it and see how this plays out. Alright, see Lilia's going to be going first. Bunny Dom is just not going to care at all, which is super nice. Hopefully some debuffs land, very good, we get pushed up, Soul Constellation, and yeah, now we can just go ahead and attack buff the team, get a little barrier going. I don't know if I really want to do that immediately, we could hold off on it since we already have a skill null, but might as well just turn cycle, right? Get Bunny Dom to take multiple turns so that she can continuously um, keep up with that C Lilius here. Uh, attack buff is going to be nice for the Ken when he does counter, so that is pretty good. Let's go into the Shu. She should be pretty tanky. Now, the downside is that she does have a barrier from the C Lilius. Ooh, and she's on Proof of Valor. Alright, so most, most of the Shu's are on Proof of Valor here. Um, but it shouldn't matter all too much. Ooh, look at that counter attack. Unfortunately, she has immunity, so we can't provoke her here. But we do lap, so might as well just go ahead and attack the Shu again. And she's basically on Death's Door, which is beautiful. <laughs> Mel Ken against Landy is just absolutely amazing. I love it so much. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of the shoe. Uh, let's S3. This will help us out a little bit. Mel Ken starting with Vigor Buff is also amazing. If you have Vigor and Attack Buff, and then you defend. Oh my, wait. Hang on. <laughs> Where did the Landy go? <laughs> Where did the Landy go? Alright then. Um, I guess Emil can hit a lot harder than I thought he would. Alright, so Ron's gonna go ahead and use his S2. Let's go ahead and try to finish this one off. Aria, please resist. This is a pretty low HP Ron. Okay, so it could have been damage, could have been um, effectiveness. This guy probably didn't change his gear specifically for Guild Wars. So, um, but, oh, oh, wow, that is a lot of damage, actually. I don't, I don't very much like that. Do we go for... S2, I think so. I think we just S2 the Aria. Let's push her up. And we'll we'll S3 here. Get a defense buff up. 
This provoke doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go for an S3. Give the defense buff up for my Arya. Give everyone a slight little barrier. And Senya gets to go, but that's fine. She has already attack buffed, but... There we go. Arya's gonna be able to counter. And I don't think anyone's broken out of stealth, right? Yeah, even Yoho wasn't broken out of stealth. That's good. So we're able to just keep countering, and then here comes the extra hit. Yoha also is re ready to rip her S3. Oh, look at that damage. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and just S3 to Senya, finish her off. Lilia should die just because she'll hit the um, she'll hit the Arya and Arya will counter. Right, so let's go for this. Oh, or never mind, or we're just gonna... Arya's like, nah, stop wasting time, let's finish this. <laughs> On to the next match we go, and the tower went down, look at that, 580 Havoc, pretty nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the top tower, um, Cryogenics here, pretty nice name, and it looks like a couple of my guildies are struggling against this tower here, so hopefully it will be fine. Bottom team is a pretty typical defense, right, and so we're bringing in a very standard offense, but for the top team, we got Lua, ML Landy, and Rimuru, so I think it's a pretty good time to show off Bunny Dom's interaction with an AI Lua, and it's pretty nice. Um, with a Lua on the other side, you do get your immunity and your skill null, and when Lua S3s, when she takes an extra turn, Bunny Dom puts up the, um, those two buffs, right? And Lua will strip the skill null, leaving you with immunity, which means you don't actually get reset by her, which is very nice. Uh, speaking of resets, we're gonna try to reset our opponent. We're gonna control the Rimuru with our knock wall here. Uh, mine's still on her really speedy build. She's still on Guiding Light, because I don't want Lua to attack her at the start of the match. I'm gonna try to preserve her HP as much as possible. Um, so hopefully I can use her in later matches if I need to. Uh, ML Ken's gonna be debuting alongside Bunny Dom, I guess. Uh, he's gonna be very nice again into this, uh, ML Landy. And if Rimuru attacks him, then we'll be fine as well. Uh, if Rimuru is a very tanky Rimuru, which he might be, then we still should be okay. ML Ken can soul burn to crit, so it's not gonna take him forever to kill things like Rimuru, um, like he, like he used to in the past if he didn't counter. Alright, we got C, Lilia, Senya, and Shu down here, so Pilot's actually got buffed uh, in her skill tree, which is kind of nice. She actually does heal herself for 5% more, I think, at, um, now, and the damage mitigation that she has is actually applied to uh, herself, too, which is really nice. Um, <laughs> I do need to get better boots for her, though. She's still on these janky attack percent uh, substat boots, but we're working on it. Uh, we also got Rowana here. She is just going to be on... Actually, I should probably switch her to... I don't... A couple people lost to this tower, right? I should not be joking around too much. Let's go ahead and give her a Celestine. I should have... Yeah, I should have a few laying around over here. Um, <laughs> I managed to pull from Mystics. So Celestine on Rowana is going to be pretty nice. And then we have Lionheart Sermia. That's going to be coming in to help uh, deal the damage that we need. So yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, the reason I put Celestine on Rowan is that I can get extra healing. Mine's on a counter set as well, so it helps out a little bit. This Rimuru, though, look at that. Immunity right there is gonna suck quite a bit, but hopefully we can reset him. If we can reset him here, it would be very, very nice. Um, oh, he is gonna resist. Is this a resist Rimuru? There's no way this Rimuru can have that much health, right? Okay. Uh, we're, actually, we're kind of screwed here. We did get the bind on the Lua, but I think Rimuru is just going to nuke my knock wall. She has the lowest percentage health. Let's go ahead and seal the Landy. Because so, uh, I think knock wall is about to die, so. Oh, never mind. We do go into, uh, we do go into Guiding Light. That's pretty good. And Bunny Dom's going to get hit by the Rimuru. There's not really any buffs on the other side, which is kind of nice. So, there we go. Lua, oh, Lua being reset, though, actually kind of hurts my Bunny Dom. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I didn't think this through, guys. Hang on, hang on. Um, we reset the Lua so she can't actually use her S2, S3. That's a little bit of an issue, right? Just a little bit. Okay, I think what we'll do, because they can't counter anything like that. Rimuru can't do anything here uh, either. Or actually, no, Rimuru can, but he's already done his S2, so it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll just hit the Rimuru. Okay, look at that. No counter attacks available. Beautiful. Uh, Lua's gonna go before my... Oh god, look at those. Look at those Elberses that would have killed me. Okay, so yeah, there you go. I uh, got the skill null, got the immunity. Hopefully Bunny Dom doesn't die in this match. She, she might, though. She might. I have a feeling she's gonna die here. But what can you do, right? Let's go ahead and S3. Hopefully. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Okay, don't kill. 
go. Good job, I'm all Ken. Too bad everyone has immunity. And let's try to seal the Rimuru. Oh my god, it is a degen resist Rimuru. Holy. Okay, good. ML Ken's gonna kill. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Bunny Dom's gonna survive here, which is nice. Uh, I am gonna try to... I'm gonna try to sleep him here. Oh my god. <laughs> Why'd I do that? There's no reason for me to do that at all, right? Because the Rimuru has been resisting everybody else. Why would he why would he um fall asleep to my bunny dom? But Ooh, she's about to die. So what do we do? We have to kill the Rimuru. He's gonna S1. Lulu also has an S1, but I think if I can kill him here, it'd be great. I just don't know if I can. Oh man. Let's go for the S3, because it does grant us an extra turn. Hopefully this kills Rimuru. We have two hits uh, on him, right? can't believe... Okay, look, there we go. He's been just resisting my knockwall, which really sucks. Look at that, now the debuffs land. Okay, um, maybe we just kept getting 15% this whole time. Who knows? Alright, knockwall not entering Guiding Light was actually good for me there. So let's go and S3. Let's get a berry for Bunny Tom. Wow, she barely made it out of this one alive. <laughs> and here, look, you can Soul Burn ML Ken, guarantee crits, and look at that, absolutely beautiful, 14k, that's with an attack buff and his own vigor buff, but hey, if it works, it works. Alright, so here we go, see the Lilius, you're gonna be popping around screen, you're gonna give the whole team vigor, which sucks a little bit, but it's fine, there's nothing you can really do about it if you're playing a turn 2 team like this. And Senya's gonna give herself the counter buff. This Senya only has about 15k health, a little less than, uh, a little less than 16k, so not too bad. Lionheart's gonna cleanse herself. That's pretty good. Uh, the unfortunate thing is Lionheart's pretty far back, so we're gonna need a turn cycle into this uh, again. I'm just gonna S1 into the Senya so she can counter attack, and we'll heal the team, push everybody up. Okay, so, um, the thing here is that Pylos, even though she's already really good at surviving, uh, things like Shu's dual attacks with C. Lilia, she should be even better now, after her buff. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for a hit on C. Lilia's, because I don't want the Shu to counter me, necessarily. Let's go for an S3. A lot of Lionhearts nowadays are on a destruction build, so they do a ton of damage. Uh, but yeah, mine is not. Mine is on <laughs> lifesteal. Okay, so let's go for... Let's just go ahead and try to finish off the Sea of Lilia. She's a little bit annoying in terms of the dual attacks she provides the team. Right? Even though we do benefit from the dual attacks, but we can manually trigger our Lionheart Sermia by just attacking the Senya. So I'm not too worried about it. I just don't want this to happen where, um, see, Lilius brings in Shu, and then Shu ends up fooshing a ton. But yeah, look at that. We're gonna get another S3 up. No problem. And that should be the end of C. Lilius. The anti-crit buff on the Senya is gonna be a little bit of an issue, but we'll get through it. Um, extra hit here. Look at that. So we're gonna, again, proc the Lionheart. <laughs> She's such a reliable unit, it's absolutely insane. See, even with the S2 here, the Foosh, we're so tanky that it doesn't really matter all too much. Uh, I can go for an S3 uh, to try to give a barrier to the team a little bit. Let's go for the Shoe. If she counters the pilots, that'd be great. We can get some healing off of Rowana as passive. Nope, no counter there. Right, and let us go for an S1 onto the Senya. This will give us some healing. The unfortunate thing is, of course, Lionheart is provoked right now, so we will lose this next turn. No S3 for me here. Not the worst, though. Not the worst. Okay, so at this point... Ooh, nice little crit. Uh-oh. <laughs> Lionheart, you're in a little bit of trouble right now. Let us go for a hit onto the shoe. Hopefully she counters. Nope, no counter, but the Celestine is keeping us alive. Let's see if we can provoke the shoe. Very nice, there we go. And a counter to help us out. Lionheart's gonna proc again. Getting that defense buff replenished. Pilots also works really well with the uh, Lionheart because she does provide a defense buff. Okay, so we might get blinded here. Ooh, no, we get provoked instead. I think I would've, been, uh, would've preferred the blind, but here we are. 
So Senya is usually on these teams to be a complete nuisance. Um, effectiveness Senya is especially, they're just really, really annoying. Uh, Shu is the one that deals most of the damage, though. But with something like a Lionheart Sermia, it's really, really difficult to kind of die. Let's just hit the Shu once more, she's gonna counter. Just keep pushing up my team, it's fine. Alright, great. So now we can rip an S3. And we do crit the shoe. That is nice. Senya is going to attack. We do get the S2 proc with Lionheart. Unfortunately, you can't double S3 in a row. They made it um, like that on purpose. <laughs> with how much fighting spirits consumed. If she consumes 70, you can definitely rip another one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and finish off the Senya. She's just, again, super annoying. And we already have another S3 ramped up for our Lionheart. So we should be okay in fighting this shoe here. Unless, of course, she counters here and cuts me. But let's go ahead and S1. Oh, no. Okay, that's okay. No anti-crit buff on the shoe, though, which means we do hit. And then this should kill. We can soul burn our S1. And down goes the uh, the annoying team. Oh, there we go. Actually, it finishes off the shoe with just the S3. Yeah, that's the second tower down. Thankfully, we managed to <laughs> bring Bunny Dom out of it alive. So we can use her once more for the third tower. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up in this guild war here against the bottom tower. A little Kiron avatar there with little bunny ears, I do like that. Um, for the first team, we got Zeo, Knockwall, and Shu, so you get to see Bunny Dom in yet another scenario. Knockwall also has her S3, which leads to an S2 with an extra turn, so Bunny Dom will be able to activate. Bunny Dom's immunity from this, along with the skill nullifier, which is just a cherry on top, the immunity from this prevents your units from being sealed by Knockwall, obviously, an AI one. Um, if you're going up against the player, they're probably just not going to press S3 and just use their S2, but that's a win for you, because that means you don't get reset, you don't get binded, and you can use your skills, right? Uh, we're gonna bring in Karina, because she's gonna be a pretty decent knight to help deal some damage to the team. She's pretty good against units like Zeo, she has elemental advantage against Knockball, right? Not too shabby. Uh, but we're doing this because we're bringing Midnight Gala Lilius, and I need a tank of some sort to kind of protect her. Now, Karina has a barrier that she gives the team if um, a unit goes below half their health, uh, and so that's gonna help out Lilius quite a bit, especially with her passive, uh, and it's I just don't have an Aureus unit that I feel comfortable with bringing here, because if this is a tanky knockwall, then Lilia's going to have a hard time beating her, so we're just going to try to speed things up a little bit with the Karina. Obviously, you can play a bit more safer than this, but I need someone to try to one-shot this shoe. Okay, down here we have uh, a team that we kind of fought earlier, but Sea Lilius, uh, Landy, and Rimuru. So we brought Bunny Dom to that Sea Lilius last time. This time around, again, we're going to be playing a little bit safer. Uh, bring in ML Ken, of course, he's going to be doing great work, but uh, you need an ice bait, and the best ice bait for Rimuru is, well, Crow. Uh, Rimuru is going to hit the Crow with his S3. We're going to be profiting by just S3 and back and using horse stonks, and we're going to definitely just nuke the Rimuru off the face of the planet. Uh, I'm going to bring in Shuna as well to kind of help cleanse the MLK because he will get an attack down from the Sea of Lilius, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, it's going to help us redistribute some health uh, later on as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it and see if we can uh, get some success here, especially with that Rimuru on the bottom team. If it's going to be anything like the other one where it might have high resist or a little bit of resist, about 100, 120, uh, then Shuna won't be able to sleep him and it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Alright, but see, Lilius is gonna get a uh, reset here, unfortunately. Still fine, though. Alright, there we go. And we do get the flow control from the Bunny Dom. So there we go. See, the barrier here is gonna help us quite a bit. And even though Bunny Dom is a reset here, it doesn't really matter all too much. See, Lilius, or sorry, not see Lilius, um, Midnight Gala Lilius as well, but we will get our uh, buff up very, very soon. We're gonna be, uh, I think Shu is so slow, I think I'm just gonna ignore her. I'm gonna go ahead and nuke the Zeo, because he is definitely gonna be packing quite a punch. Bye -bye. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, nice defense break, boom, very good. Let's see if we can sleep the Shu. Okay, there we go, very nice. So because she slept, I'm just gonna go ahead with the knock wall. We are gonna miss, we heal a little bit. Uh, pushed her below half health though, gets the uh, attack buff for everybody, CR pushing, which is nice, and now we can use Bunny Dom's S3. Right, 
Okay, so we prevent ourselves from getting sealed on our Lilias, which means we do get the damage limit back up, which is nice. It helps keep her alive. And down goes Knockwall. And this should be it here. Come on now, you can one-shot this shoe. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There you go. 32k health. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So let's see what this one here, uh, C. Lily is gonna go. Rimuru's not too far behind. I think what I'll do is I'll just cleanse, since is not gonna be taking the turn. Okay, but actually, no, we don't need to cleanse. We might as well put an attack down on everybody, right? Let's just go for an S3 here. See if we can strip some buffs off the opponent. That'll reduce Rimuru's damage. Oh, actually, wow, is that fantastic. Um, let's try to push back the Landy, if possible. There we go, is gonna analyze, that's okay, I'll let him take the defense buff and the immunity buff here. ML Ken's still gonna shred through everybody. And we're just gonna let Kral get nuked for a ton of damage. Yeah, unfortunately though, my opponent has immunity, so ML Ken can't really, um... Ooh, what do we do here? Let's just, uh, let's just go for a hit here. I want Kral on low health, but we do have Celestine on our Shuna. Alright, very nice, we do get to counter. And we're we'll going next, so we can S3. Now, look at that. The Sea Lily is just giving immunity to absolutely everybody, which really sucks. Uh, let's go for the Rimuru. Don't want to S3 just yet. We're above half our health. Throw out Ken's S3. He's always going to crit, so it doesn't matter about the anti crit on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's quite a bit of damage. Can't wait for the. Uh, for the Landy to attack us. Nice Provoke on the Rimuru, that's actually what I want. Provoke onto my Ken doesn't really matter, because now we're just in counter-attack heaven. <laughs> defense buff is helping the team stay alive, especially this Landy, she has a bigger buff and a defense buff. But even then, look at that, 10k damage. It's disgusting. Alright, Krau, let's go ahead and finish off this Rimuru. We should be able to ask 3M. We're missing over uh, 11k health. So even on this, it should kill. We didn't miss there, but we still did 10k damage through Proof of Valor, so not bad. Alright, and now, just in time, because our Shuna can now cleanse. Um, <laughs> the lady just died. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, so we can go ahead and cleanse now, and what we can do here with ML Ken is we can Soulburn his S1. Let's go ahead and just try to strip these buffs off of the Sea Lilia. She's a little annoying right now. Oh, we didn't get to strip. Let's push her back. Come on, there's no way you're just a resist little. There, are you? No way. All right. <laughs> Maybe these players are building resist sea Lilias. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that ML Ken, of course, making quick work out of everything that is meta right now that is light. So that is pretty nice. And that's going to be it for our Guild Wars today. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe for more Epic 7 content. And until next time, take care.